Hello, in this video I will be doing an unboxing and overview of the Orbit Bluetooth Tracker. Of course you can use this on your keychain, but you can use it in any thing that you need to track. Like put it in your jacket, stick it on your dog's collar. So what's included in the box here is the device, a special opener tool to replace the battery, and uh, a metal ring, spare battery, and a cord attachment. One of the things that separate this device from many other Bluetooth style trackers is the replaceable battery component. And a lot of other products like Tile, for example, uh, you have to return the product and get a replacement at a discount when you uh, need a replacement battery. For this you don't have to worry about it. It uses a standard uh, CR2025 battery. So let's get to the unpackaging and have a look at what's in here. Let's try to open this as neat as possible. this open. Here we got our tracker. By the way, this comes in many different colors. This is the, um, I believe, the gunmetal gray. You can get it in black, red, blue, various colors. Here are the batteries. This is your removal tool. Your, uh, for the battery, you would put this on one side. Like that, there's a little notch here. And then on the top where there's a notch, and then you twist it to open it. And now you have access to the inside where the battery comes pre-installed. Slightly more in-depth look at the battery changing tool and how it works exactly. You see these two tabs on the top over here. They are matched together on top which align with this tab here and it turns only that much so that way it won't overturn. So that's the turn ratio. And again when you're opening this up and closing it. The hardest part about this tool is just the reattaching because you need to remember exactly the spot where it goes in here, the angle. So there we go. That's all it takes to open it. Now it's unlocked. I could open this piece. All right. All right, I see over here a reference mark. There's like a little marker there. So this would be the starting point. This would be the ending point. So you remember to put it back at that point to put your piece back together. There we have the battery. And let me put this tab so it matches roughly that spot there. And this piece, the, the tab here, so it matches that. Oops. The tab is there. And now I'll close it back up. And that's that. That's how you how it's open and closed. So make sure do not lose this tool. Here's a relative side comparison between the fob and a quarter. So that we can see there the physical size difference. That's the back of the unit. That's the front. Okay. 
And there you go. Okay, so here's what's in the box. Again, here's your orbit tracker. Here's the removal tool for your battery, key ring, and a little loop. And your extra battery. Uh, another little overview of the specs. Uh, you can have a last seen GPS location on your map. Your battery life is up to six months, depending on how you use the fob. You have a separation alert capability, built-in speaker, crowdfinding capability if you lose a device. It's waterproof IPX6, uh, satellite selfie remote, and of course replaceable battery. This is the app you will install. Search for Orbit by HB Butler. So let me get that. And then you're going to turn on your device and pair it within the app. So once you're in the app and you've created an account and confirmed your email, you're going to um, choose the part where you hit the plus sign to add your orbit. And in this case, I'm going to be adding the orbit key finder. <coughs> so let me power this on first. You hold the button here. All right, so orbit key finder. Uh, for the first time activation, press and hold the button in your orbit five seconds until you hear a beep. One, two, three, four, five. Connected. Continue. Find your phone. To make your phone ring, press the button on the orbit key. So this button on the side here, you can use that to find my... So it works two ways, which is pretty great. If you, have your, if you lose your phone and you have the fob, you can find your phone quickly with it. If you have your phone and you misplace whatever the fob is on, you can find that. So let me hit continue. Find your orbit. To make your orbit ring, tap the find orbit button on the app. This is how you take selfies, because this can be used to activate selfies using the in-app camera app. So now I'd like to show you a neat little feature which allows you to use your fob as a shutter button for the camera. Uh, it's really nice to have that if you want to take pictures of yourself or a group without having to have somebody else take the photo for you. Now the only thing you have to worry about is for somewhere to uh, lean your phone against or if you have a tripod with a phone holder uh, that's probably the best deal. But uh, to use that function all you have to do is hit the camera icon at the corner and then hit the camera icon again that appears there to switch between the front and back camera. I'll do that now. I'm going to hit this camera icon here and then I have an icon there. I switch to the back camera. Now I can see that object there. And you can switch between still images and video with this icon, the flash with that icon there. And I press this button as a to activate the shutter and that's that. If I have it on video mode, if I hit the button, it starts recording, press it again, it stops it. And it's as simple as that. It, there's an issue with a viewer. If I click on the photo viewer within the app itself, there's no way to back out of it without getting out of the app entirely. So that's something that will need to be addressed. And then to, to go back to the app, you just hit that icon and uh, it brings you back to your main menu where you see your, uh, your whole orbit thing in the maps and whatnot. Uh, so if you wanted to add more objects to, you can add a new orbit if you have other devices to add. And uh, that's about it for the uh, camera shutter. Now I'm gonna show you with the uh, orbit tracker that even with the app, not running in the background. As you see, I've got nothing running in the background. I can still track my phone from the fob, even with it on vibrate mode. See that? 
sooner or later. And there you go. All right, now let me give you a look at how the alert looks. If the app is running and the phone is unlocked at the time and you use your fob to alert your phone. You'll see as per my settings on here, um, I have the sound and vibration and flashlight options turned on. So when I hit that button on the, uh, on the fob, it's all going to light up. Let me turn that off. But there is an issue. Now if I put the phone off, which it's going to be off, even with the app running, and you hit the alert. It still vibrates, but the light doesn't go on. Which will make it harder to find. If, if there are audio issues or if the speakers are muffled somehow. So that's a little bit of a software issue there. Otherwise, the feature works fine. And keep in mind, uh, the alerts from the fob to the phone uh, won't work for five minutes once you exit the app. So if I close the app out, you won't be able to alert your phone for roughly five minutes. And then it'll function in the background. And again, still with that issue where it still won't light up. Now for my final closing remarks regarding the Orbit Bluetooth Key Finder, which again works for anything and not just your keys, anything that you can attach this fob to. Um, I do like it. It is compact. It works pretty well, except for a couple of minor software issues. You know, those software issues again being uh, one, the light does not go off on your phone when you alert the from the fob to your phone if the screen is off, and it's always going to be off if you ever actually do need to do that. So that's a software glitch that will need to be worked out. And the camera, once you take a camera, if you view pictures that you take from within the app, there's no way to get out uh, back into the app without closing the app completely and then going back into it. And the last glitch is, of course, that uh, separation function, uh, which only works properly when the app is running. If you close the app, then your fob and your phone are going to start beeping because the background functionality doesn't start working for five minutes. So it's going to think that it lost contact and your phone and the fob are going to alert. So um, again, I don't think I gave a full overview of the separation alert. Let me give you a little bit more detail on the separation alert. Uh, so the whole point of that is with a separation alert on, let's say if you leave your home or wherever you are and you forget one device or the other, you're both going to start sounding off. So let's say you have this connected to your keys and you leave wherever you are uh, and your, your phone will start ringing as well as your keys as soon as they lose the Bluetooth connection between the two devices. <clears throat> and of course vice versa. If let's say you left your phone uh, in where, wherever you were and you separate and now your key fob here will be ringing as well as your phone until you get back into uh, the location. Uh, so anyway, over, and uh, I would like the range on this to be a little bit better. Uh, could be a little bit better. It won't reach all the way through my home. Uh, for example, in my home I have, you know, the basement, first floor, second floor, attic. It will only, if I have this in the basement, it only works up to the second floor. It'll lose connection if I start walking up into the attic. Uh, as a comparison, I have uh, Jaybird X2s and X3s, and I can take them with my phone in the basement running. I can walk up to my attic, and it will still be working. I mean, not the greatest, but it will still be working. So, I mean, I would like slightly better range from this, but it's still adequate in general for my purposes, but still would love more range. But I do love the fact that it is a removable battery. It is pretty small, doesn't take up much bulk or weight on my keychain and it pretty much works as advertised. I just would like to see those um, basically software bugs fixed and that will iron out my major issues I have with it other than hoping that it had slightly better range. 
And uh, that's about it. Uh, oh, and oh, one other thing. Uh, if you do lose your key fob, you know, whatever it's connected to somewhere, um, another way of it locating it is you tap on the app to, have, to put it on lost mode. And if somebody else walks by and sees the fob in their app, it will automatically, you will automatically get an email notification with a map location of where your fob was detected. So that's a really nice function. That's like a crowdsourcing function. Everybody running the Orbit app uh, will help you find your own fobs because once they come within range of it, their app is going to see that there is a lost fob within range and it will send you the notification with a map location. Uh, so anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Please hit that uh, like button if you did and please subscribe if you'd like to see more from me as well as my review of the Orbit card which is their credit card sized rechargeable tracker. Thank you again for watching. See you in the next one.